Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Olaf Storm. Today we're drawing a character. We're drawing this guy. Let's get started. I began sketching him out on my iPad in Procreate. Procreate comes with this really good feature where it records all your actions and plays it back as a time lapse. So no need for me to, you know, do any recordings. Something it doesn't record is me flipping my canvas horizontally back and forth. I think this is a really useful thing to do. It helps you to detect mistakes because it refreshes your mind and sometimes you find that your sketch is actually quite wonky. I changed the look of his face in the end because I thought the original design was a bit dull, or the original sketch. And I really like how the mouth with a weird set of teeth turned out. Leaving Procreate behind and jumping over to Photoshop, I feel more at home. Painting is way faster there, and I can quickly color pick from different areas of the canvas. Procreate is a little slow on that. Let's add a light from the left side. A few clicks with the dodge tool does the trick. A quick tip when painting faces is to split it up into sections of colors. The middle portion of the face around the eyes and nose is where you get a lot of blood flow and that makes that bit a bit warmer and redder. And the lower section can sort of drift towards a cooler and more desaturated shade of red. I think it really helps to add life to a character to have that redness around the, around the eyes. I then kept painting away, adding details and smoothing out the colors. The hair I was a bit unsure of, but um, it was a while ago since I painted hair, so I felt a bit indecisive about how to approach it. But after a few adjustments, I think I got it to a pretty decent place. All right, we're almost there. Let's add some highlights around the eyes. That always looks good. Also slapping on some freckles and birthmarks is cool to give that skin some texture. Painting clothes are so much fun. Using references though, I find it's key because I am no cloth designer and I don't really want to be one either. So painting existing designs is really easy. It makes the result a lot better than if you try to make it up yourself. Finally, I add some compositing techniques to tie the image together. Grain and chromatic aberration, that always looks nice. And this is the final image. Anyway, I'm really happy about how this image turned out. Uh, please comment in the comment section below what you like to draw the most. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.